No, oh, come back, come back, come back. What's up everyone? Welcome back to PDB Outdoors. We are actually back out here doing it again. What are we doing? We are actually ice fishing on a new lake that I've never fished at before. I don't know why, but um, this lake is actually pretty, pop pretty popular. The lake right next to it is just as popular. What lake is it? It is Lake Poygon. Um, and next to it is Winnebago's. I don't know if any of you guys know anything about these two lakes, but they're kind of like uh, a bowl meaning that uh, they're kind of just like a consistent flat straight across. Um, the particular area that we're fishing at right now is actually six, it's like six, 6.1 feet of water. And uh, we've been trying to find deeper water, but it's just been like that consistent six foot. Um, so we've been just constantly marking. We spent the last two hours just scouting the whole entire area. We put a lot of, a lot of yards um, between us and the vehicle. Uh, Honestly, it's probably easily over a mile. Um, so yeah, so we finally started marking fish and we finally brought fish topsided. Um, my brother -in -law and I both managed to catch a fish each and um, he actually caught a walleye. Uh, it's like around 15 inches. And then I actually caught a new species. And guess what it is? It is a bourbon. I'm actually pretty far away from the tent right now. And um, the fish is actually in the tent. I don't know if you guys can see, but then that's my brother -in -law walking right there. And then that's the tent and the bourbon is actually in there. So I will throw a little, uh, a quick picture of me holding the fish up right here. And yeah, hopefully uh, we managed to catch more fish throughout the night, cause right now it is currently two o'clock and you know what they say, the last hour is always golden hour and that's when the most fish activity actually happens. So we're gonna stick to it until then and hopefully we manage to bring more fish topside. I will see you guys then. All right guys, it is freezing out here. When we first got out here, it was actually, I want to say, I don't know, close to 10 degrees out. And now that um, midday has passed, the wind has actually picked up and I feel like the temperature has actually dropped. Um, so I'm actually hole hopping right now. Uh, so bear with me in a little bit here. I'm going to start mumbling because I'm going to be freezing my butt off. Oh, come on, commit, commit. There's like a school of something small that's like just teasing my bait right now. Yeah, they're like going away now. That was like a, must have been like a small school of perch or something. Alright guys, uh, we're heading back to the tent. Uh, it's pretty cold out so I'm gonna warm up a little bit and then I will come back out here and I will continue hole hopping. Oh, oh shit! No, oh, come back, come back, come back. Yeah, yeah bro, what is it? What's that? Walleye. Man, that guy came suspended, dude. There you go, guys. First Poygon walleye. Probably like 13. Whew. Marking again? GoPro, start recording. Oh, that's a nice, dude, that's a nice walleye, man. Let's go. That's like a 17, 18 incher. Heck yeah, dude. That's how we do it, man. Uh, it's a keeper. That's a keeper. That's got to be a 17, 18. We can measure it. Just to be safe. Oh my God, I can't grab anything. <laughs> Future. Let's go, bro. Oh, last minute grind, man. Last no. minute grind. You got this. All right. Uh, currently, right now, it's like uh, 3.30. So we are actually kind of working our way back. We actually have to get back way over there. I don't know if you guys can see my finger here. 
way up there so is that opening kind of so that's about a mile away and we're walking we're making our, our slow approach towards it and uh i have a feeling that it's gonna take us at least another hour to get out that way sorry guys oh yeah it's gonna take us at least another hour to get out that way so fingers crossed we managed to catch more fish otherwise guys this is actually our third move since having packed up the tent um, this is actually gonna be our last stop and from here on out we're just gonna do our mile track back to the car so fingers crossed something happens if not that's okay because we had a pretty crazy grind day want to come back out here <laughs> nice smaller but you know what <laughs> not bad for grind though I mean, that's... Thank you. let's go man can I get bigger ones I got a huge mark, dude. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, God. This guy raced up for it. It's probably another, it's probably another big walleye. Yeah, it's a nice walleye. Oh yeah. You know? No, I got it. Don't look at all. Don't talk. Guys, look at this. Oh my god, dude. Oh man, we gotta get back on this. Quickly. You know, two, I think. That's gotta be 22, 23. Yeah. That's like 22. Yeah. 20 is like right there. And then it's 20, 21, 22. There we have it, guys. Let's go. It's close. We gotta get a quick release on this guy. <laughs> oh, yes. Dude, that was a huge mark. I seriously thought that, that was gonna be another perfect. <laughs> oh, that is a grind, man. Oh, my God. Oh my god guys, I am freezing right now from let, um, letting that guy go. Anyways guys, um, with that last guy, we're gonna just end it on a good note. Um, again, the evening bite is on fire right now, but we gotta race back to the car because uh, it is so cold, man. Hey right, Lewis? Yes. This is a, how, uh, how was the day today, man? Pretty good. It was slow at first, right? Oh, yeah. We grind so hard just to find these fish, and what do you know, golden hour golden hour and we, and we managed to catch quite a few within the last 30 40 minutes so anyways guys that'll be all for today again please like share subscribe i appreciate you guys i do these crazy trips like this just for you um to get content for you guys to um watch and enjoy for those who can't even get out to the outdoors especially during the weekday like today so anyways guys again i appreciate you guys until next time peace